because you have to do it more than once. Really? You, you got to keep Joe going. Joe Rogan's been consistent. That's why he got the $100 million deal from Spotify. He damn sure did. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Shannon Sharp becoming a top interviewer because of this interview has went up past every interview with 40 some million you know right. reviews and so like it's the second most viewed in, under Joe Rogan but it, Joe Rogan's gonna pass and, I mean he's gonna pass he's gonna Joe pass Rogan, Rogan because he's doing it fast it's, it's yeah. moving um, does that set a staple for him you know far as being a great interviewer in the field that he's dealing with now you have, to do, you have to do it more than once really you, you gotta keep Joe going. Rogan's been consistent that's why he got the 100 million dollar deal from Spotify he damn sure did so you know uh, no, no knock to Shannon that's great but it, it, you got to be consistent. That do it again. You can't just do it once. Do you think he can do it again? Who knows, man? I mean, listen, that, that interview was lightning in a bottle. Uh, and it's hard to capture lightning in a bottle consistently. You know, it depends on who you guess. And Kat was a great guess. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I don't agree with it, but. It's all about chemistry. Yeah. I got to ask you about um, also Jason Whitlock, Stephen A. Smith. You yes. you, you, deal, you see what's going on with them boys, man. Yeah. Like um, when you see this kind of, this still the same goes back. It's the same thing, color for huh. color, you yeah. know, round for round. Like, well, how do you feel about that? Uh, well, you know, I know Jason Whitlock has always had this undertone of being a sellout or being viewed as a, I don't want to say Uncle Tom because a lot of black people don't even know the true meaning of Uncle Tom. When you get called an Uncle Tom, that's actually a compliment. Yeah, that's I've not heard a that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you called a Sambo, now you've been insulted. Yeah, that's but right. Uncle Tom is actually not a not a bad thing, but he's been uh, referred to as some sort of a Sambo. So I don't know all the complete details about the Stephen A. thing. I don't either. He just came out. To, some yeah. people say he was coming behind a uh, uh, Cat Williams and and, and Shannon Sharp's interview to let him know, yeah. you know, like it's pressure over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I hope that being real. Yeah, I just at the end of the day, I just would like us to do better. I think it's just time. Yeah, you know. And, and so, what are you gonna do to change the narrative? Because what are you, what, is, what, what, do. what the hell is Ari Spears gonna do to change the narrative? I, because I, I, you've been a like I told you before, you've been a part of the situation that pretty much spewed up, you know, different things that cause people to feel a way about pressure on this internet with comics. Right. So what are you going to do in 2024 to, to change any, the narrative? Any, anything I can, uh, you know, uh, but I'm, I'm not as I'm not as powerfully based in certain positions to make the kind of change that I would like to make. Uh, so, you know, my my my, fit, my uh, platform or my mouthpiece can only do so much. You know, all the other changes that need to happen need to come with me being able to provide or, you know, uh, build some things, so that's gonna take that's gonna take a little bit of time for me, cause my hustle is a little bit different, cause I'm not I'm not ahead of the pack, like a Cat Williams or a Kevin Hart, uh, like that. But it can happen. Well, that's the goal. I'm talking about on a on a dime. That's 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 the goal. You never know. Yeah. See, and when you're talking about stuff like that, you know, cause I know Kevin Hart, he talk about the fact that like Cat Williams, he's not really just helping the people around him to grow and so forth. Do you think that is so detrimental, especially when you become a celebrity, you making money, you making moves that you need to help the people around you come up and create like an organization like, you know, how Kevin has? Yeah. Uh, you know, listen, one thing about black people and, and, and I, you know, and I know we don't like to be held accountable, which is why so many people are mad at me. Because anytime you hold niggas accountable, they go, <laughs> that, you know. Uh, but one thing about I love about my people is when we get it together, we're, we're the best at so much shit than anybody else. We know how to dominate. We 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 life's hot sauce. You know, if if, mm -hmm. if life is chicken, we the Tabasco. We know how to turn the volume up on everything. Uh, and we 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 we're some of the most imitated and copied and stolen from people on the planet. Right. So when you just look at the history of who we are, where we've been, what we've done, life wouldn't be shit without us. We, we are such a main ingredient to everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going, man, if we could just get our heads right and utilize our powers and come together, Avengers assemble, it it it, it would be dangerous. What does it take? First, we got to change the mindset. We got to change the mindset. We have such a Scrooge McDuck, mine, 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 mine. I got mine, nigga, get yours. Instead of going, help me get mine. And if you help me get mine, I can help him get his. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you think about all these black celebrities on Instagram 
comedians, actors. Can you imagine if if we every time I got something popping, you we it was like an automatic chain. Oh shit. Aries got something popping, I'm reposting his shit, Kevin Hart. Oh shit. Bill Bellamy got something popping, I'm reposting his shit, Cat Williams. If everybody just took care of each other, man, it would be it would be it would be dangerous. I you know the funny thing about that, what what I'm thinking is the fact that like because social media is a quick way of how to get it out information out to everybody at one yeah. time, right? So if you did a video showing that you're helping, you know, your friends helping that everybody come up, you show um, unity and organization coming up, some people be like, you know, people always turn the good and make it bad. Be like, oh, why he got to put it out there like that? It makes it seem like that person couldn't do it. You know what I mean? And turn people head around. That's a mindset. Yeah. yeah. That's a mindset. <laughs> like Kevin, and that's the bad part about it. <laughs> like Kevin yeah. got... Over 300 million followers yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. Whether it's me or whoever. Let's say it was a Desi Banks. If he reposted Desi Banks performing here at this day, at this time. It'd be sold out. You know how many people are going to see that? Mm -hmm. You know, if we did that for each other. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Impact was powerful. Oh, my God. Yeah. But we don't. Now, I, I, what do you think? Of, and I, I got to get you out of here, but. P. Diddy, uh, how will he end up on this situation if you had mm. to guess? <laughs> I say if you had to guess, what would you see him at in another two years? Uh, you know, he should, you know how I put that. Like in two years, where do you see P. Diddy? You know, he should just. Come Is he out. gonna be all right? I said in two years. Take two years. With time, Aries, like how you said earlier with the comedians. Now, you get on my podcast two years Listen, from now. If, if, if he don't, if if he ain't facing no criminal charges and don't get arrested or nothing like that. He still got the money, so he gonna still do what he do. He gonna be who he is. And if he get arrested, you think they gonna throw the book at him? You know, money money talks. You know, R. Kelly, R. Kelly had money, and he's out, isn't he? <laughs> isn't he out? No, he's still in jail. Yes. R. Kelly is not out. I thought he was released. Where, he wasn't released. Where you hear that from? I think you tripping. Are you sure, really, man? R. You Kelly, tripping. If R. Kelly came out, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. No, I thought R. Kelly. If was R. Kelly was out. But it'll go crazy. It'll go crazy. You know he got followed. You know I seen you. I seen you do a sketch on that too. You were early. Really you was early on that well, nigga. You, you <laughs> were <laughs> early. I said this nigga was early. Hell, man. R. Kelly is not out. Oh, I thought he was out. He would have been performing already. Mm, okay. Now he is not out. I thought I don't know where I got that from. That's why I was like he got money, but they threw the book at him, and they is not letting him out. No, and they ain't playing with him either. Yeah, but at yeah, all. he also was like really wilding. Hmm. Yeah, you. Yeah, I see your skit. It, 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 it's P Diddy. P Diddy is being said to have with grown women, right? Mm. And men. Like, I mean, it's a lot going on. It's a lot. You're, I'm just telling you what's going. On. The internet is talking. Maybe he'll be honest and come out and just come out. <laughs> Maybe he'll be honest in two years. You know. Two years from now, you're honest, and it, that's wild. I don't. And even if know he how did come out and say it and admitted, then what would happen? Do you think everybody turned their backs on him and he would oh, just... No, because he got money. It's like money is the cure to everything. It, it, for people that need to be cured. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.